I got a great example to describe uh, what I feel and was my first impression with the new HH, which is basically the new old HH. As we all know, uh, symbols being a mystery for every drummer. This is an uh, uh, endless search for the ultimate symbol sound. And I would use the, the saying, you know, sometimes we say uh, a man looks for his needs all over the world and then he goes back home and he finds it. To me, that's exactly what happened with the HH symbols. I've been very fortunate to play with some incredible artists over there and, and very different from one another. I can play on Blake Shelton record, use those symbols, and it will be perfect. At the same time, I could use those symbols on Chris Cornell record, and it would be perfect. And I, I think that's a great example. You can be extremely dynamic, and you can be as aggressive as you like, and those symbols will sing, and will cut through, and will remain musical as they are. Let's talk about the, the way they feel when you play them and the way the symbols uh, feel within in the track, in the music. Especially coming from the engineering perspective as well, which I do like many others. I have my own studio and I'm very much aware of the recording process. Now many times you will listen to a symbol, individual symbol. It, it sounds beautiful, but you will record a symbol along with the track. Just for example, enough you got one acoustic strumming acoustic guitar playing in the track and uh, electric guitar on the other side and, and all of a sudden there is some clashing going on with the frequency. This is where it comes down to the HH symbols that they sit in the perfect spot. They dark enough, they bright enough, they right there and they cut through and they will not clash with the rest of the instrument. This is always the biggest issue. Uh, this is why, for example, I love the dark hi-hat. It won't sound as crisp when you play it, but when you listen back waiting in the track, it just sits there nicely. You can really push the volume as much as you want, and you're really going to hear the hi-hat without interrupting with the rest of the music. I hope I'm not mistaken, but just to make sure everybody understand the HH letters on those symbols, it's hand hammer. Those guys sitting there and hammer the symbols. It's art, you know. This is this is why we got those people at Sebion that are the main. I mean, those people. We should thank those guys. They know what they're doing. We can sit and talk about it and just um, describe a sound. You know, I would love to have this or that, but get someone like one of those fellows who know how to get there. That's, that's, that's mastering the art of making symbols. Experiment, we share ideas, and this is really, Sebian is one big happy family. Uh, I'm so proud to be part of this family. And we always listen to one another and share and do so many great things. But, at the end of the day, uh, as far as I'm concerned, for what I do, go to the studio, tracking songs with people, especially here in Nashville, 
it's really nice to have all those uh, extra effects if you like but when you're looking for the ultimate classic real symbol you can beat the HH especially the new old HH if I can call it this way so I'm as happy as I can be